Yo, what is up guys, it's Mark here, returning with another studio. So, firstly before we get into the studio, um, this is what the studio is about. Um, it will say in the title, but if you didn't know already, this is what it's about. So people have been asking, um, it says 3D camera tracker layer must match composition and use default uh, tr uh, transform values. So I found out exactly why this is. So. I and the way I found it was quite weird because I was doing an edit and then I just randomly found this out because I've actually never noticed this but um, now I have. So we'll start a new composition and then I'll do a tutorial again like I've done in my previous tutorial but I'll show you how to fix it so you do not get this problem. Um, so we'll just start a new composition, just throw this in here. So um, yeah, now what you guys uh, will be experience is you, you don't like the black bars of course uh, so you're, you're zooming it in a wee bit more maybe using that but when you put in your um, 3d camera tracker this is going to say use your default values so camera tracker cannot track it because you're not using default values so you cannot scale the object but you might be like oh no so that means I cannot do it then no that's that's not the case you can still do it but you need to um, just render it first so if we put this, um, just delete that, and then we'll put it back to its original value, and then we put in the camera tracker, everything should work, okay? So everything will work perfectly fine, but you will have to render it, and then, then change the scale. So it's quite a tedious process, and it doesn't take a long a long time, but it's just kind of annoying, because you just want to get into the edit, and all in the one um, composition, but usually you're only using maybe one or two... Um, to 2D motion tracks um, per per edit anyway, but just say you had a color correction. Sometimes when I'm if I'm doing an edit with 2D in it, um, then usually I don't really need to change the um, scale, so I can just put in a, a really good color correction, which will make it not look like it. So just say I'll show you some color corrections while we're waiting on that. Um, so yeah. I'll I'll come back I'll come back to the video as soon as um, I've done it. Okay, so I'll show you some color correction when we come back. So this is going to take about a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'll see you there. Okay, so we're back um, and we we can continue with the tutorial. So once um, you've done uh, your camera tracker again, you just put in your text. So we'll put in our text. So like the last two, we've got our uh, dots and stuff. So we'll go on a little bit. I like the ones, so I'll take them. And just the same, just the same process as last time. So take this, and we'll go down to transform, and we'll bring this forward a little. That'll do. Okay. So now you've got your text. So once you've got it in your position, I'm not going to take any time doing this, so just you take your time. So yeah, that's, that's a motion track completely. Whee! <laughs> okay, so there you go. So, once you've got this, we'll just render three seconds. Just to, just to show you this works definitely. So this is maybe people who have been uh, used to After Effects and um, tutorial um, working with the actual software itself. You might understand what I'm going to do just now. So all you want to do um, is to avoid this um, render thing, um, your error. So what you want to do is just render it. You know how to render, obviously. Um, so just render. We'll render the first three settings. We we'll render three seconds, so you just render however a lot, how much you want. So output um, tutorial. Just render that, and that will render. That will be your text. So just let that render. And my PC is not just it's not frozen. It's just the start of the cinematic. So yeah, there you go. So there you go. Just let that render. Do 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 do. Come on, render. Okay, so that's that rendered. Now all you need to do is load up a new, um, oh, 
with our new composition with the oh crap crap with the um, file and that should be you sorted you can change the scale so that there's not any black lines or anything so yeah that's, that's basically it it's really really simple that's the problem that's what happened to me and I've done this so just say this is started there now we can change that and the text does not move and there's there's no effect so then all you need to do is just throw on your colour correction so I'll choose a really sick one that looks quite bad actually um, we'll just put on a, a nice one no, oh. okay that will look good so, sorry about that guys, the uh, PC just froze, do not know why it just froze so I just cut out that so that's why it's kind of a jump in the video so um, just choose a colour correction, that one is fine for me and that is it, you've got it that's it so the only annoying thing about this is if you do not use the, the default scale um, then you cannot change the text, you just need to go back and do all that again so sometimes you can get away with uh, not using the default value um, but you you need to get a pretty sick um, colour correction so it doesn't, you don't really see um, the black bars. So uh, there's one in here which doesn't which is quite good um, for the black bars thing. It's like really that's not good for the black bars, but it's really bloody. So maybe if you just take off the blur a little. Yeah, just a little off the text maybe. Nah, not really. Doesn't really affect it that much. Um, so yeah, just just uh, make it to your, the best you can, and that's that's really it. So um, thanks thanks for watching this tutorial, and there will be a 3D motion track and uh, motion track motion track um, going up soon. So yeah, uh, please make sure to check that out. And obviously, if you like this video, please like it and comment and tell me if this worked for because I know there was a lot of people asking about it. Um, did you help you the same thing? Well, not that. I don't know about that either. I've actually I've, I've took in all the comments. And I've searched for it and stuff. I cannot find anything relating to that. Um, so yeah, that's that's the main one people were talking about, and I've had people talking about it. So yeah, that is this problem solved. So hopefully you enjoyed that, and thank you for one thousand five hundred views. Maybe, maybe now. No. Yo. Okay. So and twenty six likes. Thank you for that, and make sure we can. Make sure this gets maybe five likes, that would be really good, and the next tutorial will come out. So if you've commented, then you've got a shout out.